Good morning, everybody. Phil out here at Woods Tree Farm, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning here for the beginning of June. There's a heavy dew on the grass this morning. There was steam lifting off the pond because the water's warm and the air is cool. So almost a fall-like morning out here, but uh, I've got a few hours before I got to get to work, and uh, I'm going to deal with a couple low spots that I have out here and I've picked up a subsoiler the county line subsoiler from tractor supply and I'm hoping that I can get a few of these low areas ripped up they're actually calling for some rain here in the next several days and things are pretty dry and pretty firm right now so I'm gonna see if I can get these low spots torn up with the subsoiler so that they can drain in the future and I'll show you this first spot it's right over here Yep, sun coming up over the trees there, but we're walking down this hill and this is kind of the back part of my main field Right over there on the other side of the tractor is where we planted all of our trees This spring and then next year we'll be planting this side of the field And I don't know if we'll get to it next year or the year after but down here in this low spot We'll want to plant some trees in the future and right now it's just too wet uh, so about a week ago, I came through here with the bush hog mower. I cut all the grass back and then I also started to investigate where this should be draining down here into the woods. It's down this way. And you can actually see and this is a muddy area. We haven't gotten any significant rain in quite some time. And this is all very, very wet. Because uh, water's just coming down here and sit sitting down in this area. So this is the area here, especially up that way where the grass is cut, that I really want to get the ripper through. And then down here, as you get into the woods, a small kind of drainage creek starts to form just in there through all of those vines. So what I think I need to do, and I'm not going to do it today, but what I think I need to do is bring in the box blade in here and excavate this a little bit more. So I think what's happened is over time, leaves and sediment have piled up down in this area and it's preventing water from coming down this hill and getting to that little drainage ravine down that way. So I think what I'll need to do is kind of a combination of subsoiling and grading through here. But today I'm just going to work on the subsoiler and I'll come back another day and go over there and scrape out some of that with a box blade and see if I can't get this to drain a little bit better. So, all right, let me get the subsoiler hooked up here and uh, we'll see how it works. <laughs> I put it on backwards. All right, we're on. I'll have to play with the top link adjustment to see about getting the angle right.
Okay, well, it's doing pretty well. I can't get, in some spots, I can't make the subsoil go as deep as it can. The tractor's getting bogged down and there's not enough traction in the soft soil to uh, keep moving forward. So I'm lifting the subsoiler up a little bit to, uh, you know, just try to make the progress that I can. I bet if I hook the subsoiler up to the other tractor, the heavier tractor, it'll do a better job at getting down deeper because it's heavier and it'll have better traction. But for today, uh, and for the first try, uh, this is probably, you know, doing something. Something's better than nothing. So I'm gonna make a few more passes here. Unbelievable how wet that is still. We haven't had rain in days. And uh, this is just muddy, muddy mess here. Uh, I'm guessing that there's just like hard clay underneath this top layer. And that's what we've seen elsewhere in the property. And that clay is really compacted and there's just no water penetration through that layer. So hopefully that's what the subsoiler does is it rips that up and allows water to drain down inside. I've got another wet spot way over on the other side of the property and I'm gonna see if I can make any progress over there. All right, so this area in here is all pretty soft still. And I think what happens is you know, this area slopes down this way. The hillside across the way slopes down this way. And this is somewhat of an area here that's got a little bit of a bowl shape. And just over inside that tree line is the creek that feeds my pond. So apparently this, there's not enough slope here to really let this area drain over into that creek. And this area has just been wet as long as we've owned the property. So I'll try the ripper and see if that doesn't dry it out. It just, if it doesn't, then um, we're gonna have to do some excavation in here, maybe bring in some fill dirt and see if we can't get this to, to work a little better. Cause eventually we're gonna wanna plant trees over here, but we're not gonna be able to do it if it's, if it's wet all the time. So. Uh, all right, well, let's see what we can do.
All right, you got to see this. So there were a bunch of places, and you probably saw I had to really feather the um, the height on the three point. But there's some places where I was getting hung up, like here, for example, uh, and I had to lift the three point up in order to get for forward motion, and it just ripped out a huge chunk of earth here. That's uh, you know almost up to my knee. I'm gonna try to push this pile back in. Uh, and part of the issue there was roots, but this soil that's underneath, you can tell it's just a really hard clay. And uh, now that we're breaking that up, hopefully that'll let uh, the water get down in there and drain. There's a couple areas go along here where we're just ripping up like really clean looking clay. Look over here. Look at this. So down inside here, you can tell we are getting down uh, as far as the ripper would let us and then we'd get stuck because this stuff is just so dense. Look at this. It's actually really hard for me to break apart by hand. But that's the clay layer that's not letting any of the moisture get through. Uh, that's almost like pottery clay. It's perfectly moist. It holds its shape really well. That's fascinating. Uh, here's another big hole that we ended up digging up with the ripper. So I think, you know, what this is telling me is that this field's going to need a lot of work. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to do this multiple times. I'm going to have to do it in the fall so I can sit like this over the winter. Um, there's another area. But for now at least, made a few gashes in here. Hopefully some of the water that's on the surface will start to drain. This area can dry out a little bit. And if we end up getting any drought, hopefully this area will dry out. All right, well that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video with my first time using that county line subsoiler to try to take care of some low wet areas here on the property. Over here behind me, uh, I couldn't get any traction in the subsoiler, couldn't get in the ground at all without bringing the tractor to a stop. So I'm going to bring in some fill dirt here on another day and see if I can't fix that area. That area is a real problem. And uh, the rest of the pasture though out here, I made some pretty good grooves. I hope it improves the uh, drainage. I'll keep you guys updated in future videos. Make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate your time watching. Talk to you later. See ya.